It may be hard to believe, but human trafficking is a problem now that's being felt here in western New York, with many victims being forced into prostitution. The Erie County Sheriff's Human Trafficking Unit arrested two people at a hotel in Clarence just a few days ago. Melissa Thompson charged with prostitution, and Rory Moran is charged with promoting prostitution and criminal possession of a controlled substance. But a 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley uncovered today, law enforcement is now viewing human trafficking prostitutes as victims. Well, now the idea is if you want more heroin, you have to go out on the street, commit acts of prostitution in order to bring back money uh, to the trafficker. According to Homeland Security investigations, the national problem of human trafficking is getting worse, with the number of cases increasing nearly six times what they were in 2010. And the Buffalo Field Office reports 86 arrests, 32 indictments, and 33 convictions. The victims are being exploited through the use of either force, fraud, or coercion. In many human trafficking cases, men, women, and even children are forced into the sex trade, and they're being controlled by people who purposely start or exploit a victim's drug addiction. We want to be able to support survivors in helping them escape those situations. The Western New York Human Trafficking Task Force is made up of several local law enforcement agencies. It works closely with the International Institute of Buffalo to help rescue victims of the sex trade. So we believe them. That that's where it starts. But sex traffickers are always on the prowl for new victims, often trolling social media looking for vulnerable individuals. And there are warning signs that friends and family can spot. Especially youth that um, have chronic uh, homelessness or are running away. Um, they may have uh, a lot of items that are expensive where there's no explanation. Um, they may have a, a boyfriend or girlfriend that's much older than them. For those being manipulated into having sex for money, a hopeful message. They do have a way out, and if they come forward uh, and, and cooperate with and are willing to cooperate with law enforcement, we'll try and make sure that they're going to get the help that they need and the help that they deserve. But law enforcement admits that very often sex trade victims are afraid to deal with police, and that's because they have been abused and controlled by the traffickers. But that's where the International Institute plays a key role, because victims can call for help without feeling they are dealing directly with police. At Riley 7, Eyewitness News. All right.